Hello and welcome to another On Location Snack. Dogmatics Beatrix and I are in Friend, Oregon at the Friend School to do some learning. That chimney's seen better days. <laughs> Mailman. Now this is called a book. Books are like physical representations of the internet, but you can take them with you. What's really cool about some of these books is they don't require a signal. And when you open it, the data's right there. What's really great about some of these books, specifically hiking the Pacific Crest Trail in Oregon, there's no signal there. So your phone's not gonna be able to have what you need. And if you watch season one, we met this guy. Eli. We walked a trail with him a little bit, Dogmatics and I. It was before Beatrix's time. She's not even old enough to be in around in first season. But what I think is nice about books is a lot of times the people have already spent all the time finding where the things are that are pretty interesting for high points, interesting things. They'll have keys in the back of what things are nice to do in this index. And right here, here's Eli hanging out, looking pretty. He's pretty handy. So books, specifically this one, hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, Oregon. Pacific Crest Trail is pretty big. It goes from the very bottom southern tip of California all the way up into Canada. But you can take a half day hike off of the trail and get other things too, so you don't miss them on your trip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So here's Mount Thielsen. We hiked along here with Eli, Dogmatics and I. Quick plug, you can find this season one on Amazon Prime. Moving on. Also during season one, we met Marley B. Miller and talked about her book, Roadside Geology of Oregon. She made this map, we talk about it a little bit, the different kind of stones and striations. And she goes through in like just massive detail what you're looking for, why it's there, how it's there, just super knowledgeable. And this stuff is just fantastic for road adventures, van lifing, just going camping, really, really pulls you in. Where there are details, her shots of where to see the thing, not just what it is, but where it is. If you wanna be a rock hound and go find rocks that you think are neat, you need this book for Oregon. Moving on, next we go to Field and Stream, the total fishing manual. These are great because they teach you all the lingo that you might not have picked up growing up with other fishermen or might teach you the right lingo. There's so much in these, how to do the fishing lines, how to do the lures, how to tie the flies. And this gives you the foundation skills to do that or even sharpens your skills of a 30 year veteran fishing to know more things. Mm, tactics, mm -hmm. fancy. There's just so many pictures of what kind of expect underwater what to do to get what you want, what different lures do, what jigs do, how they dance, how they swim. So you can go to the store and get the jig, to get the lure, get the hook for the fish you want to catch that day. Highly recommend these books. This book is great to get into fishing and for people who already know fishing because there's so much it applies on such a broad scale and then gets into minutia as well of these kind of fish like this. It's Field and Stream, the total fishing manual catch giant fish with these 318 essential skills. Next, we have what I think is super fun, building outdoor gear for camping, for backpacking and canoeing. This teaches you a lot of tricks to do, how to make your own equipment, which I find very rewarding. Other people might not be so into it. This book specifically has canoe paddles, pack frame, reflector oven, trip boxes, buck saw, and other trail tested projects. So this teaches you a lot of things. These self-made pack frames, these canoe handles, these canoe chairs. This is a buck saw. You don't see it very much anymore. We call them bow saws. These trip boxes, which are, are pretty good. Motor mount for a canoe, little hat bands. This is actually handy, I think, the reflector oven. It just sits next to the campfire and bakes things. You make baking while camping? Yeah, it can be done. This is something that's pretty much a lost art. It might look like canning, but it's caning. It's where you take a frame 
and you make a chair with it. And these are good for canoes or rocking chairs. You can make tabletops. It's a lot like rattan. And you kitchen boxes, motorboat mounts, splash guards, just a variety of things. Not a lot because you want to have detail in these books of really how to do it. This book is good for someone who's already a pretty advanced woodworker. You're pretty crafty, you can follow instructions, you have some tools like a drill press, a number of clamps, you've worked with epoxy a couple times. You just have to, you know, have the tools to really make this stuff really come together. But now my favorite thing that we have today, this. You flip through the atlas, you're like, I'm already going here. You flip it open, we throw it on the dinner table, what do you want to see? Well, I really wanted to go to the Basin Range National Monument. But I can also look here. And then when I'm looking here, because I'm looking right at it, I can see what's around it. So let's hop to Oregon. And what you can do is you can find where you're at. Currently, we're out here in, um, we're right in here. So you can see that we got the Cooper Spur. We have a bunch of things around us and I can find them and then maybe I want to go check that out. But you just throw it on the dinner table and you're like, hey, what do we want to go do tomorrow, kids? They have a legend on them and a key. So there's going to be letters down the sides and numbers across the bottom. What are those for? When you go to the back, like here's Oregon and Texas. And they'll have a city and then they'll say G. Four. So Springfield in Oregon is in G4. So you go down G. Oh, I only get to 11, so I gotta flip it over. And four and G. So right in this area of the G and four is where you find that city. You might not know that all the highways that run east to west are even numbers and the ones that run north to south are odd numbers. I think these are just really fun and handy to see really how big the area is you're in. You can talk about what's there. A lot of times they go into more detail than even Google Maps. Really handy thing to have around. Great for your van life RV. We learned something today, didn't we kids? Really appreciate you joining us here in Friend, Oregon. Thanks for joining us. Using this road atlas, we see that there's a bunch of adventures right around us. We're gonna go check them out.